Hey, thanks for tuning in for another episode of the Review Channel. Today we're going to talk about the Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat. Now, I was in the market for a Wi-Fi thermostat, and as I'm sure you are looking for internet access and maybe use it with Alexa or Google Play or whatever, um, and you know you want to change it and you have this old-fashioned thermostat and you're saying, can I do this? And, you know, I'm very technical, I'm very hands-on, um, very mechanical, but I always get challenged, I always get nervous when I do these type of installations. I don't want to burn off the system, it's a very expensive uh, multi-stage system, and so I went online, found this thermostat, I said, let's give it a shot. Um, so I purchased the item, got it in two days, and received it. A little bit smaller than I thought it was, but it's kind of cool looking. Um, so first thing I did is take off the old thermostat and took a photo. As you can see here, there are seven different wires. Um, so you can see there's red, yellow, blue, white, green, black, and orange. So very important if you have a multi-stage system. Um, there's a Y2 and a W2, and they're hard to see, but they're right here. W Y2 and W2. Then we have a green, a white, a blue, a yellow, and a red. So I'm looking at this configuration. I'm saying, okay, I'll take a photo of it. I said, let me look at the new plate of the new thermostat. And that's where the confusion begins. This is where the story really gets crazy. So if you're trying to wire this, I'm going to tell you not, not, not to panic, not to worry, but look at it carefully. And I had to take a photo of my phone because it's so damn small. I mean, everything is so tiny. So you got a W2 here. Okay, you can see them here. Um, you get the white. Uh, you get the red over here. Okay, here's the C wire, the common wire. WOB. Is the wire here, yellow and green and so forth. So that's the wiring configuration. So I hooked up the thermostat. I thought it did correctly and it didn't start up. It didn't even go on. So I don't know. There we go. So I go ahead and try it. And I, so the problem was is that in the original photo that you saw, I'll go back to that. And let's take a look at that. Um, just snap right back one second. Let me get that back. So you can take the original look at this configuration. Okay, there's a W wire, so white. And we're looking for a common wire, right? So you need the C wire. So a lot of times the C wire can be any damn color. So, I mean, within reason. So the W wire, everyone says, oh, the white wire is the common wire. Not so. Not so, my friends. So this is the actual setup that I had to figure out eventually. I had the white wire as the C wire, and I had the blue wire where they had the B was over here on the right. And that is incorrect. So it really how it has to be that this blue wire is actually the common wire and the white wire has to be on the W which controls the heating system. So very important that you get this correctly. So not always the white wire is the common wire. It can be the blue wire, it can be the green wire, it can be any pretty much any color wire. But the odds are if you have a blue wire, that is the common wire. Um, put it on, plugged it in, started right up, worked perfectly. Went through the multi stages, um, everything worked correctly. Uh, I have a high end uh, train, very interesting system, um, very, very high end, very computer. I took off this board, I said, oh, don't know how that works, forget that, close that up. Um, works off gas, but it's actually very interesting. Um, and I'll go over another video with that later, but a different boiler system hooked up to this with water. And here's a quick look at it, and I'll do a video on this later. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, Another quick thing, also make sure the wires are pushed in all the way. That is so important. I didn't have the green wire pushed in all the way. I didn't realize it. And the system was only running on low. It wouldn't go to high. I'm saying, what the hell's going on here? So I looked, took the cover off, looked at it again, and then the green wire wasn't pushed in all the way. I pushed it all the way in, reset the system, and it worked perfectly. So just keep your eyes open for that. Make sure the wires are already pushed all the way in, because that could be one of your issues as well interesting how this works i mean you just take a look at this take your time don't rush look at the wiring and if the blue wire and the white wire kind of confuse you because the yellow the other colors are pretty standard you know you get the, all the different colors and those also always match pretty much the new and the old it's the damn common wire or the white wire or the c wire and on and on and on it goes so just study it look at it don't get nervous don't get frustrated they have a tech support line the lady was really good she said to me you have to have that white wire to the to the where it belongs that's not the common wire you have to figure it out um then i just switched over the wires and the blue wire was the common wire so if you're using this thermostat if you have a multi-stage system and if you have a blue wire that's not working check out the blue wire as the common wire most likely that's the issue i hope you found this video informative please subscribe to my channel i haven't did a video in a while been busy moving and getting things ready and that's why we have a new thermostat got rid of the old 
One, I want to have Wi-Fi access. I want to have Alexa control it. Uh, and so far, I'll do a video on Alexa about that later, um, far as so and so. It's, it's been kind of touchy, but um, I will touch base with you with that, and we'll see uh, how that progresses. I have a lot of videos to, uh, to post uh, regarding heating systems, changing filters, um, fixing uh, humidifier stat, all kinds of stuff going on here with the older home, you know, a lot of different maintenance. Um, just so I'll go through all these videos just getting back up and running. It's been, I've been off for about a month. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel. It does help me. Uh, I do appreciate that. Um, any questions or any comments, leave below. Also, I'll put a link below where, where to um, purchase uh, the thermostat. Shoot me any questions. If you have any troubleshooting issues, love to help. Uh, let me know. Uh, and I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed it. A uh, thumbs up would be always great. And please share it because, I mean, this is really important information. You know, that the damn, that damn white wire, common wire. It's tricky, uh, but the thermostat works awesome. Um, hope you enjoy it. And here's a quick picture of the thermostat running, and I love it. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day.